hello everyone in this video I will explain HTTP cookie so uh, before going to discuss HTTP cookie first I will explain what is the problem with HTTP protocol HTTP protocol this protocol is actually used to transferring information over the web so uh, we are having this example we are having a server we are having a client and on internet every resource is identified by a URL so let's say this uh, client need one resource and this client has uh, need to interact with server so uh, how this uh, client server architecture works client will send a request and server will send the response and this response can be any file or any uh, dynamically generated content so this is the way our HTTP protocol is working. This protocol transfers request from client to server and then server send a reply. Now this HTTP protocol is actually a stateless protocol. It means when the server is receiving any request from client side, it will serve that request and it will forget it. So receive request, serve it, that's it. So server actually won't store any information regarding request. So for server, every request is considered as a new request. Now with this strategy, what is the problem? If same user is sending multiple requests, the server won't be able to find out whether these requests are coming from the same user or from different user. So the problem with this HTTP protocol, uh, because of uh, there is no information stored about client on server so server cannot a server cannot find out whether a request is coming from the same client or from a different client so here uh, in order to solve this problem so that server can identify that he uh, the request which server is receiving those requests actually coming from a same users so here comes role of cookie so what is cookie uh, whenever a client send a request to server first time so here we are denoting this client actually sent a request to server this server when this server will send a response to client with that server uh, with that re response this server actually include a text information okay so let's say this is the response with this response server will send a textual information and the same information this server also store on itself and this information will be in the form like uh, name equal to value name can be anything let's say user value can be anything let's say any number one two three four seven eight so this information only uh, with response will be sent to client now how this cookie can be used to identify whether request is coming from the new client or old client so next time when this client will send any request so uh, this information this information which is also known as cookie this information is stored on this client so in future whenever this client will send a request to same server with that request this cookie will be included automatically so we are uh, here we are showing that this was the first request this was the response with the response this client got a cookie and this is the next request so uh, this is the feature of cookie whenever a request will be sent to same server cookie will be included automatically so this cookie will be sent to server now what server will do server whenever receive this cookie it will match this cookie with its existing cookie so this server will match these two cookie so if these two information match it means server will conclude that this cookie is coming from a client so uh, and this cookie is generated by server so that client must have interacted this server previously so server will conclude that this is a this is not a new client okay so this is the way how cookie helps to identify whether the server is uh, receiving request from same client or from a different client.
so when server receive a cookie it will match with the stored cookie if matched it will come to same client standing request so uh, in this slide i am briefing everything whatever i have explained cookie is a textual information a text based information and this information created by server and this information actually created by server sent to client and stored in client machine and every cookie actually having a age uh, which is also uh, considered as a lifetime for that cookie once that time is expired that cookie will be removed from the client machine so uh, we used our browser to send request to server so our browser actually store cookie thank you for watching